All right. So we're back. Um, now one of the things that is synonymous with the name Kendra lust is fitness. You are so you have, the, you're in incredible shape. You're always posting pictures of yourself at the gym. Have you always really been into fitness and, and what drives you in that way? Well, thank you. First of all, I I've always really been active as far as like an athlete, you know, not obviously on a professional level, but I've always just been an active kid. I've played sports for as long as I can remember. And what, what were some of your like main sports that yes. you played? I loved basketball. So mm. I played, I remember going to school. This was elementary. And my dad, after I got done with my first grade homework, not that much back then, you know, I, he would set up chairs and then he'd make me dribble every day, you know, in and out of chairs, in and out of chairs. Now, why is he making me do this? Like, this is torture. But I was very, hey, I'm a very good ball handler in and out of the bedroom because <laughs> of that. So, so, so let's just say I can juggle some balls and, uh, you know, I can uh, penetrate that, uh, uh, that defense. So, so yeah. Um, so, uh, basketball, I played softball and, you know, I was pretty good at most sports. I was just naturally pretty athletically inclined. And then in, I think it was like my freshman year in high school, I discovered the mezzanine upstairs and it was a place where you could lift weights. So, um, I just started lifting weights and trying, you know, messing around in there. I was an older girl who kind of taught me some things and just been working out ever since I'm to the point now Oh, you know, it's a struggle, especially during this pandemic. I do it just because if I don't do it, I don't even feel right. I just get bitchy. And my mm. husband's like, okay, you really need to do something because, uh, you know, you're crabbing at me and I didn't do anything to you. go work out. You'll feel better. And I do, you know, sometimes just getting out. Yeah. It was like the same thing for me. So I was always doing sports when I was a kid, mostly horseback riding. Cause that was, you know, mm. what my mom was so crazy about. Uh -huh. So, I did a lot of that. Uh, that was my most, the, the, the most consuming sport that I did, mm -hmm. which was great. But it also too, like my husband and I were talking about it. Cause he's like, has always played sports. Hockey's his main thing. He plays hockey nice. all the time, sometimes twice a day. Yesterday he played two hockey games. Um, so he's like fanatical about hockey and, uh, and we were just talking about how important it is, I think, to raise kids with sports yes, because the exercise is really important, but also too, like the, the, the teamwork is really important mm -hmm. and learning how to communicate with other people and socialize and work as a team. And that's something that I didn't really get with horseback riding because horseback riding is a very like isolating sport, yes. kind of like ice skating in a way. Yes. So I feel like he was able to, you know, create and forge like friendships and teammanship with people in a way that like I missed out on kind of. So I kind of want, you know, my kid to do more team sports, but, um, yeah, I just think it's, I think it's important. And, you know, I've never like loved exercise to be honest. I still yeah. don't love it. Like yeah. I don't enjoy, I, I won't lie. Like when I'm working out, I'm always like, Oh, when is this over? Yes. But you feel so much better afterwards. And so I, uh, was married before, very unhappy. And I actually started boxing mm -hmm. and that kind of changed my life because wow. that became an exercise that I enjoyed and that got me into shape. And it got me into a place where I just realized how essential working out was to my life and to my mental health. Like you said, absolutely. you know, just like felt so much. And then it got to a point where now, you know, I work out not just obviously to stay healthy and physically fit, but really mentally, because especially as you get older and you have more stress on you and you build a career and you have all these expectations, um, that, that stress relief that exercise brings you is life changing. And I have to tell you now that I'm almost nine months pregnant, I threw my hip out like two and a half weeks ago. So now I can't work out anymore. And it is like, no, I'm depressed because I've been spinning this whole time. Oh, I got a, Pel a Peloton, nice. which is the best. Yes. And I've been spinning this whole time and now I can't do it. And I find that like the, in I can't even go on walks. Like the inability to exercise has really affected my mental health. 
Yeah. And I can completely relate to that. You know, I, a lot of people after injury or they're down, it's just, it's just hard. You kind of get into a slump and you just don't, your muscles are, it feels like, I know for lack of better terms, like they're sleeping, like they're not even awake. Like what, you know, what's going on. Mm -hmm. So have you tried, I'm curious, what about like, can you do yoga, like pregnancy yoga? I I am. I, okay. I have an instructor who I'm seeing, um, once a week for private yoga classes. And, you know, but it's just like, especially at this stage, it's, it's mostly Awkward, right? threat. Yeah, and it's mostly just stretching. And I'm just trying to remind myself that this is temporary. She will come. I will get back on it. And, you know, like just trying to be kind to myself, but yeah, just in terms of like mental health, I think exercise is so incredibly important. So, um, I think it's, it's great that you kind of really, uh, push that, that lifestyle. Cause I think it's such a great example for people, yes. you know? Thank you. I think you, and I, and I do think it is, it is a way to kind of empower young women or just, you know, I, more so women I can relate to because there'll be girls in the gym and, you know, when they're in their twenties and they're like, Oh, you know, and it's, it's a compliment to me. Cause I mean, they wake up and it's like effortless and they look great. But I think at that stage in their life, they're still looking for something that they want, or they're not completely, they don't understand who they are, or they just, you know, they're figuring things out. So, you know, they reach out. Some of the girls will say, oh, what do you do for this? Or, you know, what do you do? And, and or like, oh, I really like your lips or whatever. And I, I'm not, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm, in my forties, it's like, it's not easy. I can't wake up, but here I'll, I'll, you know, tell you, you know, if you like your lip, you want to get your lips done. I'll say, you know, I went to a doctor a couple of years ago and just got like one syringe or, you know, so it's like sharing these little t- like tidbits of, you know, information, like with these girls and just on ways to be healthy. And I don't know, just having these little small little talks. Like it was cute. I had a talk with a girl yesterday at the gym and she said something Oh, I she said something about, I want to, you know, build, it's always the butt these days, right? I want to build my, and I was like, you've got a really nice shape. You're proportionate, you know? Um, and ultimately you want to, you know, you should want to do this for yourself. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.